Hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. Back at you tonight on the 10th with a solo review. Gonna take a look at something I just brought back from uh, stateside and something that's probably not special to anybody else, but uh, I'm excited to try it anyway. And it was a buck fifty a can. Gonna take a look at Yangling's traditional lager. So, without further ado, I'm gonna crack this open and take a look now. Um, I think Yangling is considered to be behind Sam Adams as the the U.S.'s largest craft brewer. Um, they, I don't know, I'm not exactly sure how long they've been making this for, but it's a bit of a bit of an urban legend. It's an amber lager. Um, what's the ABV on it? You know what? It really doesn't say. It's fucking American beers. Sixteen fluid ounces. A big can. Um, but yeah, but this is actually one that I've been meaning to try for a long time. I've heard a lot about it, and uh, uh, I've heard for a lager, um, a U.S. like, not really macro brew lager, but as far as lagers go, this is one of the more the better ones that you can buy off the shelf for a cheap price. Uh, as far as uh, Yangling is, I think behind Sam Adams is the largest craft brewer, second largest craft brewer in the states. Uh, but of course, they kind of changed the definition of what a craft brewer is in order to uh, get away with that kind of thing. Just like Sam Adams has kind of grown to the point where they're large enough that they could be a macro, but they're not. So they changed the rules. So I forget exactly what the details are, but uh, I'm going to move right along into the beer. And I've had a number of amber lagers before, but uh, so I've got some expectation of what this is going to be like. Uh, but of course, uh, I'd like to see what this one is like because I heard so much about it. Anyway, I'm tired. Give me a break. All right, so looking at that, well, doesn't lie. It's amber. It's got an off-white head, kind of eggshell color. Clear. I'm drinking this a little cold, so there's a little condensation on the outside, but it's it's definitely filtered. Let's give it a whiff. Mmm. A hint of red fruit, caramel, copper coin, metallic note. Very inviting. Um, as far as like a, an amber lager goes, this really suits, uh, fits the bill. It's what you'd expect. Uh, nice and clean smelling. Um, yeah, it actually has a very pleasant aroma to it. Fucking Ella. Jesus. Anyway, let's put her down the hatch. Cheers. Ooh, that's not bad. I'm getting a very, um, let's see. Put the front of the tongue. The front of the tongue, I'm getting a very pronounced malt, like a light malt sweetness. As it dries out in the back of the throat, I'm getting a, a nice toasted grain coming up. It's uh, got a nice caramel flavor to it, bits of red fruit, like uh, a bit like a red delicious apple, but not super strongly sweet. It's just kind of like that little bit of fruit flavor into it, um, uh, mixed in with that toasted grain and that um, um, the, uh, the 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 oh. The, the, the sweet malt, caramel malt. Um, the, uh, it does come off as a little nutty. Yeah. Maybe like a hint of like a, almost skewing towards coffee. With a bit of like a roastedness uh, quality to it. Hmm. It's kind of like that cold brew coffee I had earlier today. Um, overall, yeah, I really like this. I'm glad I finally got a chance to try this. This is a solid amber lager. Um, I'm really enjoying it. And, uh, well, I'll tell you one thing. Um, especially after the long, hot, humid day that we had over in New York, it's, um, this is hitting the spot. It's a really nice, easy to drink lager, uh, with a nice crisp finish. It's just, and uh, a lot of flavor to boot. That's actually one of the biggest things I'm impressed with is that for a beer that cost me a dollar fifty, I'm getting a decent amount of flavor that's keeping me happy, um, and um, I'm happy with it. Yeah, I that's solid. I give that a four out of five. 
Uh, that's one of the better amber lagers. And it's technically craft brewed, but it's not like one that I would get from a, a craft brewery that I would you know normally visit. This is just pretty decent for what it is. And uh, I'm not sure exactly how long they've been making that for. This is American owned, family operated, America's oldest brewery established in 1829, I guess. Potts Hill, Pennsylvania. Hmm. GG Yangling and Son. Whew. All right, well, that's cool. Um, that's awesome to try. Uh, I'm glad I finally got a chance to try it. And um, yeah, thanks for watching Maxwell Stairs. Very tired beer review, so bear with me. I uh, really enjoyed Ling Yangling. Pick it up if uh, you haven't tried it already. It's fucking a dollar fifty, so uh, it's definitely worth uh, trying. Well, thanks for watching. Talk to you folks later. Cheers.